uploaded a video where I showed um, some planner supplies that I had picked up from Walmart and although um, they are not from a line that's made for the planner that I use I felt that the stickers and you know the different types of embellishments sticker embellishments would be perfectly fine to use in the current planner that I use which is the Mombi um, excuse yeah uh, me and my big ideas the happy planner girl and this is the one that I'm using now which is um, I think it's called glam girl um, but the front of it says glam is my jam so this is the one that I use and the stickers that I had picked up from Walmart were these and it's made by creative you and it's really kind of designed for the line that they carry um, and it's a nice planner but it doesn't offer the the disc system that I need in order to make my planner flexible and so while I do not do a whole lot of um, my layouts each week is not um, packed with stickers and uh, washi and this that and the third simply because I, I really do need the space to write in and um, each day has a multiple um, list. It actually has multiple lists of things that need to get accomplished for homeschooling, for work, and for our home. And so um, because the week layout is sectioned into three parts, as you see here, it makes it really easy for me to keep that um, Keep it separated and organized. So up here is always class, homeschool class. Here is always work, whether it's for the our family business or um, Livy's Lovelies or you know craft type um, work. Or down here, which is for home, which is where I kind of schedule um, baseball games, appointments, housework, different chores. Um, whatever other things that we that take place in a week's time for our family and so this is if I take this little divider out which I keep here and this is usually attached to it one of these sheets which is I'll show you a clean one and that came in its own separate pack I think I have I actually don't have oh here they are they come in a, a pack which I don't keep them on here. I usually just have one clean one each week and sometimes I'll tear off the bottom from a, the last week or the top from the last week and just add it to my planner to finish the list off as opposed to transferring the information because I just don't have time for it. So I'll use a little bit of washi tape which this is washi tape that I found at um, the Dollar Tree and um, I'll use the sticker pack by Creative U in addition to some you know different appointment stickers um, goals and things like that and this sticker pack was given to me by my bestie Donna thanks Donna so I'll use a few of these just to um, highlight different um, tasks or appointments or things that happen in a week's time in my planner so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick layout showing you what it looks like before the pen hits my planner and I'll come back and show you and then um, no one needs to see what it looks like I mean on Sunday night when I do my layout which I had not done this week only because I needed to take time to do the video and put it on so I actually haven't laid out this week nor have I put in the appointments but the t by the time I put the um, by the time I do the layout I actually reserve enough time to put in any put in any appointments or important events for the week on there in addition to um, laying out classwork at the top so 
um, before I walk away from it after doing the layout, it's already packed. It's already marked up and not looking cute. So I will show you what it looks like before the pen hits it. And hopefully this will give you some ideas of what you can do with your planner. And again, this isn't, um, everybody's style is different. Um, you don't need to break the bank in order to um, stay organized and um, try and keep, you know, your mind fresh and clear of what you have to accomplish for the day or for the week. But just with a few items you find at your local um, big box stores, be it Walmart or Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby and things like that, you can kind of create a organize a planner system that works for you, that you enjoy looking at, and um, you don't mind going back to each day and throughout the week. So with all that being said, I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I'm back with um, some example with the layout of my planner. And at if you can see, I'll try to get a little bit closer. Um, like I mentioned before, I don't do a lot of embellishing um, only because I need the layout space. I need this white space to fill in the, t the tasks for the week. Um, throughout, b before the week even gets started, my layout typically gets filled up with something like this. Um, it's very rare that I have a week, unlike with the exception of last week, which was spring break. But most of my weeks are crammed with classwork, projects, homeschooling, um, outings, playdates, work, family business information, um, and tasks, um, Bible studies, uh, things for church, home appointments. Uh, shopping trips and so on and so forth so I don't have a lot of space to commit to or dedicate to making pretty but what I do is I, I keep it simple you know um, I've used a little bit of the Dollar Tree washi tape up here and then also again at the bottom I've put a few stickers up cute stickers you know like the crown here and then this one says worry ends where faith begins um, and on this side, which is Sunday, um, here's a sticker that says sermon notes, and then it has date, preacher, scriptures, and message. And then, although my women's group, life group, meets on Tuesday, you know, I just have a, a little sticker that states that book club, because it's, we're really studying a book that is Bible based and so I just put a sticker there for that I have a deadline that's um, I'm trying to meet a deadline this Friday of a project that I'm working on for a friend's baby shower um, so even though the book club is meeting on Tuesday I'm gonna put down some key notes that I want to um, take away and remember right here on the Sunday so not much is going on on Sunday and it you I usually don't fill this up with a bunch of stuff because really I'm only at church coming home cooking dinner and hanging out with the family so I really don't even need to plan out a Sunday but one thing we, I do have planned or my husband has planned is um, hanging out with our son and one of his good friends a good friend of mine um, her son uh, will be joining my husband Josh to the movie so they I just put a little reminder there for myself and then I'll probably check in with the mom on uh, Saturday or Friday and um, just some inspirational stickers never give up make it happen and then uh, later on today I plan on giving myself a pedicure so there's a sticker that says petty a um, little sticker that says God so like I said you know the way my life is built, I don't have a lot of, let me just put something here, sorry for the glare. I don't have a lot of space, blank space, to um, beautify with stickers and what have you. I can't um, dedicate that space to that. So I just do as minimal as, as I can and put some color in here and have a bit of a theme. So this week is it's purples. Next week it may be turquoise 
or peaches or something like that. And whatever works for you is what you go with. You, you don't have to do my layout. You don't have to do anybody else's layout. You do what works for you. Do it based on your budget. What's your, on a weekly basis, what your week looks like. Um, you may have every Thursday off. And you may plan nothing but um, staying at home on Thursdays. You could load your Thursdays up with cuteness you know if that's what works for you or if you're if you don't have kids and you're a single woman and um you have saturdays that's dedicated for you and the girls then you could cute up the whole saturday row whatever works for you um for me i just need to make sure i have a dedicated enough space to what happens throughout the week because that is in, that, in essence what the planner is for it's for us to stay organized and I can't stay organized if I'm trying to work around cuteness because quite often my life is everything but cute so <laughs> so um, I hope this video inspired you to lay your planner out the way you need it to look the way you work uh, most efficiently and um, if you actually use one of the mommy planners please feel free to drop a comment below if you have an Instagram account or something like that that you do your layouts on I'd love to see what you guys are doing um, and with that being said I want to thank you for watching um, hopefully you have subscribed already if you haven't feel free to do so share comment like I know how it goes, and it wouldn't be a Livy's Lovelies video if I don't end with stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative, crafty, oh, and organized.